like it's yeah. too many days. Hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today we're making flaxseed with some fenugreek gel so stay tuned so in a glass pyrex bowl we're gonna add about a quarter cup of flaxseed gel seeds or flax seeds <laughs> flax seeds oh my gosh let's try that again so in a glass pyrex bowl, we're going to add about a quarter cup of flax seeds. Guys, so just a quick confession. I have done this gel a couple times before with only flax seeds, but this was my very first time trying it with fenugreek. So it was definitely a learning curve for me as well, but stay tuned. So now you can add your flax seeds and your fenugreek seeds to a pot and then you can go ahead and add some water. I am using about two cups of water so I'm just going to put that into the pot as well and then I'm going to allow it to boil. So be sure to cover your pot with a lid because that helps it to boil faster and to contain the heat. And you should allow it to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how much you're making or how much water you put. The more water you add, in my experience, uh, the more liquidy your gel is. And the less water you, you add, the more like <laughs> gel-like it is if that makes sense. Depending on what you're going for, either one works. So here, you're gonna see me checking in on my mixture. As you can see, it is boiling. And guys, so something that I took from this whole experience adding fenugreek seeds is that, you know, fenugreek really absorbs water and it rises so it's almost like rice you know it really soaks up a lot of water and I don't think I properly accommodated for the extra water <laughs> that fenugreek absorbs so in the future or if you guys plan on trying this out I would say add maybe about a half cup more water just to accommodate for you know fenugreek absorbing that much water so here you see me stirring the, the water in the pot with a spoon and when you pick up the spoon and the gel forms like almost like snot looking texture like you can see the gel forming that's when you know you know you're doing something right when it starts forming that gel like um, thing I don't know what to call it but once you start seeing that when you pass a spoon or a fork or whatever you decide to use through it, that's when you know that you're doing something right and your mixture is almost ready. So after about five minutes, you can definitely see that my mixture has thickened up some more and the gel consistency is pushing through. So about this point i think i let it sit on the fire for about maybe five more minutes and then i turn off the so stove. depending on what you like i've watched videos where people let the gel rest for some time to cool down and then they strain it some people also strain it while it's hot just so it doesn't um harden up i today <laughs> decided to strain it while it was still warm um, and you'll see some of the mistakes I made 
okay guys so it's at this very point <laughs> that i started to realize my mistakes so this is exactly what i mean by i did not accommodate for how much water fenugreek seeds soak up this even it looks just so weird so i initially tried to strain it with my strainer as you saw but that was a flop because the gel was so thick it wasn't like running through the strainer at all like it was just a thick glop of look look at that thick glop of gel it just wasn't going anywhere um so and i think that if i had added just a half cup more of water to the mixture i wouldn't have this problem because i didn't account for the fenugreek seeds so i came up with a different solution which is what i normally do anyways is to use a stocking cap so i'm gonna put a stocking cap over my container and then i'm going to put some of the gel in there and literally strain it with my hands that's how i can get like the thick gel through the stocking so right here i'm going to do it in bits because there's way too much gel and seeds to do it all at once it was kind of hot so maybe wait till it cools down a bit but i was on a roll so you just strain it like this with your hands and the gel will literally push through the holes. People use cheesecloth. Honestly, whatever works for you, whatever you have at home, use it. You can use a pair of socks. These are my stockings that I cut up and it works just fine. And guys, I'm sorry, this whole process is so messy. <laughs> It is so messy and honestly a bit disgusting, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I personally love to use flaxseed gel after my wash days. So when I'm braiding my hair back into cornrows, after my leave-in and after my oil, I will, you know, seal everything in with my flaxseed gel and I love it. It doesn't really hold my hair like an edge control or like eco styler would but it still holds my hair to a degree and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Also, I do add some essential oils like peppermint and tea tree. So I love the cooling feeling it gives on my scalp when I use this on my hair. So as you can see, this stocking method is much more effective than the strainer. I tried, I really tried it. <laughs> and the strainer I was going to use in the beginning. All right, so this is how much gel I got. This is the small eco cider container and I got about half of it. Not exactly half, just a bit below that. And here I'm adding some peppermint essential oils about 10 drops of that and then I'm gonna add some tea tree essential oil as well I think I added maybe five drops of that as well yeah there we go and then I will stir it with my spoon and you need to keep this mixture refrigerated because it does go bad quickly but at this point your gel is ready to use i personally like i said put it in my hair after my leave-in and my oil and it just smooths out my hair and gives it like that extra layer of protection and flax seeds have so many benefits fenugreek has so many benefits as well i will insert them on the screen so honestly you guys should go ahead and try this if you want you can get the ingredients fenugreek and flax seed at Walmart, at your local um, grocery store. I got my products, my flax seeds and my fenugreek from Amazon at a very affordable price. I can link those in the description box as well, but I would try these 
and let me know let me know if you tried this out and how it works for you let me know how you modified it i know flaxseed gel looks really yucky <laughs> but it works it works so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was also a learning curve for me this was a new experience because i had never added fenugreek to my mixture before Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. If there's something that you can modify or add to this process, do comment down below and let me know. I am always open to try new things. This was an experiment on its own. So thank you guys once again for watching. My name is Mami Safori and I will see you next week Thursday. Bye.